What's up you guys, Gaming Ready here, welcome back to Anza Minecraft tutorial. In this video I am going to show you how to build great starter house for your survival world. As you can see I am already designed the interior like this, you can also build the garden under the house. So if you are ready, let's get into the tutorial. Here is what you need to create this starter house. Arc planks, arc stairs, arc slab, spruce planks, spruce stairs, birch slab, birch planks, birch stairs, cobblestone, ladder, hole for making the garden, arc lock, arc door, arc leaves, torch, birch fence gate, flower pot, I'm going to use a lily of the valley flower but you can choose any flower you want for the decoration, it's up to you, birch fence, arc trapter, water bucket, potato or anything you want for your garden and finally glass pane, you can use any color you want. So guys let's get started. Select your arc lock and make 6 blocks high pillar. Skip 3 blocks and do the same thing 2 times like that. Now skip 7 blocks for the width and do the same thing with the arc lock for the opposite side. After that, grab your arc planks and put them on the second arc lock block. Apply that all the edges. Now we are going to use arc slab to make the first floor of our house. Make sure you put the arc slab second half of the arc planks like in the video. When you're done, just complete the edges with the arc planks. Remove two blocks and put the door inside of it. So I am going to use spruce planks and stairs for making the entrance. For that just put two spruce planks under the door and switch it to the stairs and follow my steps. It's very simple to make it, you can remove the extra stairs after making the wall entrance. After finishing the entrance, select your arc leaves and put it bottom edge of the house. Let's start making the roof of the house. For that we are going to use birch planks, stairs and the slab. I prefer to start with the left side of the house. 
put the one stairs on the R clock and put the second one next to the first stairs. Make sure that all the stairs position is the same in this video. Just keep doing these steps to the middle of the left side of the house. Then do the same thing on this side to merge them. For the last part I am going to use birch plank and put the birch slab on top of the plank. So do the exact same thing on the opposite side. When you finish left and right side, we can start building the same thing for the front and back side. Just do the same thing here, but it will be a little bit smaller than the other sides. When you're done, select your birch slab and connect the left and right side like this. Now all you need to do is merge the stairs. Just follow my steps carefully. When you're done, it should look like this. If it doesn't, just watch the video again to get exact the same roof like mine. After that, we need to extrude the edge to make it look better. It's very simple, just select your birch stairs and put some extra blocks to the following edge like in the video. Just don't forget to put the second stairs under the first one and merge it with the plank and slab. I'm going to do the same thing for all the eggs.
connect with the other sides like this. it will look like that. Now we need to replace the super planks on the empty areas. You can remove the extra birch stairs and replace the super planks like this. I'm going to make this for all the sides. So we can put the windows, remove the following blocks from the house and replace the glass pane. You can use any color you want but for this video I am going to use simple white glass pane. Select your spur stairs and put them under the glass pane, so we can put the flowers next to the windows. For the first floor, I am going to use birch stairs. Now it's time to put the flowers. Just select your flower pot and put your favorite flower inside. I'm going to use the lily of the valley. You can also put some of them on the entrance if you want. Switch it to the tractor and replace under the windows you created. It gives nice look to your house. Let's complete the garden at the downstairs. First we need to add entrance. I am going to use birch fence and fence gate for that. You can also add the second gate to the back of your house. Remove the grass block from the middle of your garden and replace the water. Then use your hole to make the dirt ready for the plants. 
I'm going to use potato for that. You can plant anything you want here. So it's time to create the second floor. Select your aux slab and put it same with the first floor we created at the beginning of the video. the downstairs and the second floor just remove the slabs and replace the ladders on the arc lock. By the way I forgot to put the flowers on the second floor so let's do it now. For the lighting, I'm going to use few torches for get rid of the zombie spawn also. You can put them where you want, it's up to you, but don't forget to put them on downstairs too. No one wants the zombies at the downstairs. Ok guys, it's almost done. All we need to do is remove the grass block from the bottom and replace the cobblestones. It gives really nice look to your house. And finally, the interior design. It's up to you, you can design interior as you wish. Here is my design, I just used white and blue carpet for the first and second floors. It's just up to you. Ok guys, that's all for this tutorial. You can now build your cool looking starter house in survival mode. I hope you like this tutorial, if you do just smash the like button and subscribe if you don't already. And see you guys in the next video.